Have we seen the ball of the tournament? We'll talk about the game more in detail, but have oh, we seen me, the ball of the tournament? For me, so that far? is exactly what I thought, yeah. and that's exactly what I've asked people is that the ball of the tournament? Which one? Uh, no the one, one which got rid of. <laughs> actually, both of them were brilliant deliveries. <laughs> Joe Root, yeah. the way both of them beaten for pace. Top quality batsman, one well set. Obviously, one was early doors into his innings, but to get Joe Root with that kind of a delivery where his bat had not even come and the ball had gone and thudded onto the pads in just this one. Look at it. Oh, my From goodness. sideways, it's just. It's just snuck in, and you can see the, the disappointment on his face because he was batting beautifully. Well, uh, ben Stokes was batting. There's no shame in getting out to that. Two, two <laughs> diff totally different deliveries. Yeah, obviously, exactly. one swinging back in, uh, late and sharp, and then obviously uh, to the right hander, and then the one towards the death where it's just reverse yeah. swinging back okay. into the left hander. We're, we're going to talk about that more in detail, but let's go over to Lords now, where Mel Farrell is with Graham Swan. Is he and there? I'm sure he'll have a few. He is there. And I actually like Graham Swan when England have gone down because he goes hard at them and tends to <laughs> highlight exactly where this game's gone wrong. In which case, Mel will probably have to do a 20 minute chat with him. Mel, all yours. <laughs> Well, I don't know. He said he was going to be maybe doing a lot of dancing and no talking at the end of this. The feet are still. I reckon the mouth's ready to go, though. Yeah, well, Ronnie, you might like me when England lost, but I don't like you at all any time. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we have seen the ball of the tournament. Mitchell Stark to come in when Ben Stokes was set on 89 and playing so well. The last bastion of hope for England. That was an incredible delivery. Fast, late reverse swing to York him. Very good. But wickets up front, I said at the top of the show, or yeah. halfway, Joe Root was the key. If you got Joe Root early, it puts a massive dent in England's team because he is the one who would enjoy batting, allow people like Butler and Stokes to bat round him. Butler just doesn't look the player when he's trying to rebuild an innings, when he's trying to be sensible, he's trying to do what all the England press wanted after Moen Ali got out. And in the end, he succumbed to a very bad dismissal. I think, I think it was actually... Not the shot he played, he was targeting the short boundary, fine, targeting Stoinis, but he didn't commit. And that's what England are doing now. They tried to be aggressive at, par at parts today, Morgan, Bairstow and Butler, but it's, they're not fully committed to it like they have been for two years, therefore they're getting out. So Ben Stokes aside, with the bat, not a great day, but you have to take your hat off, to, especially to the Aussie left arm quicks. Berendorf was exceptional today, brilliant start to the reply. And then Mitchell Stark is just world class. If you're picking a, a world 11 for one day cricket, he's definitely taking the new ball. I mean, there's a sense of deja vu in that we've ended up with another England innings where Ben Stokes is, you know, you talked about Joe Root before. So much is centering on Ben Stokes playing a sensible hand and then sometimes just not getting the support around him. Yeah, I think the, the main problem is that people like Ben Stokes and Joe Root haven't had to deal with these different scenarios because England have got such amazing starts for so long with Jason Roy and Johnny Bester. I think the missing, uh, you know, the, the absence of Jason Roy really is palpable now for England. With James Vince at the top in no form whatsoever, basically a walking wicket against a decent bowler, the England just haven't got the same verb and confidence as, you know, they were getting so many hundred partnerships in 12, 13 overs. The confidence oozes through a batting lineup after that. Uh, Owen Morgan doesn't have to face a newish ball up around his nose. It's just Jason Roy needs to get fit and get back in this team very quickly, hopefully in good nick. Because until England find their you know, verve and vigour with the bat, they're not going to win anything.